Well, greetings to you. Have you been wondering uh, over the last few years when you're watching TV and you see the commercials come on uh, that almost 100% of the families portrayed in those adverts, regardless of what they're trying to sell to you, portray the family as mixed marriage, uh, usually with a black husband and a white wife. Now, there's nothing wrong with mixed marriages at all. Uh, of course, and uh, I'm not saying there is. What I am saying is, though, uh, only 3% of marriages in the United Kingdom are mixed in any way. So why is 100% uh, uh, of, of families on the commercials portrayed as mixed? Why is it that clearly against your will uh, that there are gender neutral toilets in, in half the places that you go into, whether it's sort of McDonald's or uh, uh, whatever it happens to be, it's not something that you want. It's not something that you actually want as a customer, but it seems it doesn't really matter what you want as a customer. You're being told what to do. You go into your bank in Gay Pride Week, for example, and I went into my bank, festooned with Gay Pride flags. What's that got to do with banking? What's it got to do with banking? It's got to do with banking, is it? Your sexual preferences in the bedroom, none of my business, none of your business, none of anybody's business, certainly not the business of your bank. And so it goes on and it goes on. Uh, and I expect you've been wondering why uh, this has happened. Uh, and well, I can tell you, I've dug down a bit, uh, and I can tell you why it's happened. And it's sustainable uh, development within the companies which are making up the footsies and the bigger companies where it's mandatory to put in these uh, uh, social sustainable reports uh, by, by law or by pressure and uh, they have to tick their boxes. And of course all these companies, or nearly uh, all of these companies, are owned pretty much solely by the big institutions. So we're talking about BlackRock, Vanguard, so on and so forth, who are all part of this great woke agenda part of the great World Economic Forum agenda. Uh, so wokery is embedded uh, in the whole system. And of course, it's now grown into a huge trade. And I just looked out a few people who are in the game. Uh, Codestone, Wokeiva, Sedex, Greenbiz, Moody's, uh, uh, Green Business Bureau, Invest Europe, Ernst & Young. And there's a whole raft of all these consultancy companies that have popped up and said, let's make you uh, sustainable. Let's uh, let's help you with all your reporting procedures, so on and so forth. So these companies have to run up uh, their wokery flags uh, as soon as they can, so that they can satisfy what the real business is uh, of 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 telling uh, Fink at BlackRock uh, and Vanguard and all these other big people who are buying uh, their shares and trading their shares in pension funds, so on and so forth. Uh, that wokery is the new game. We're in line with wokery, we're in line with the World Economic Forum, and that is done to protect their share price. So when they're advertising, they're not really advertising to make you go and buy their product. They're actually virtue signalling to the people who own their shares, which is more important that, uh, to them when you go in and buy your groceries or you go into their bank. They don't inter not interested in you. They don't care about you, which is why they're not trying to portray... Um, uh, the average family uh, in, the, in this in this uh, country. And I did a diploma in marketing many years ago in the 1970s, but I know one thing that hasn't changed. If you are selling your product uh, in your advert, you want the people you're selling to to associate with what you are showing them either on your screen or in your paper or in your brochure. They're not doing that. And you've been scratching your head and wondering why. And I'm telling you that that is the reason it's wokery, international wokery, that is becoming ingrained in our society. They don't care what you say. They don't care what laboratories you want. They don't care whether you want changing rooms for ladies to be restricted only to ladies, so on and so forth. They don't care. It's wokery what counts. And it's all run by the World Economic Forum. I'm just telling you how it is. But I expect a lot of people have been wondering why it is when you turn on those commercials, Nobody looks like you. Uh, as most of you know, my work is very heavily independently research-based uh, and I get my information from all over the world. It would help if you press the subscribe button and the little bell next to it because the more subscribers I have, uh, the more likely it is that international uh, independent research institutes will share their material with me. It's most helpful and then of course I'll automatically share it with you. Uh, so.
surprise, won't cost you anything. Uh, thank you very much.